In section two, we're going to start talking about the combined gas law and Avogadro's principle. The combined gas law, which is stated right here, is just what it sounds like. It's a combination of three laws into one. Boyle's law, Charles law, and Gay-Lussac's law. With all the direct and indirect relationships intact, such as when pressure goes up, volume goes down. And if temperature would decrease, the pressure and the volume would also decrease. Those relationships stay the same and are put into this one equation. For this one, we have Avogadro's principle. Not like Avogadro's number, 6.0 two two times 10 to the tw negative 23rd. When we're looking at representative particles. Instead, this one's a little bit easier. It says 22.4 liters is equal to one mole of a substance at standard temperature and pressure. Standard temperature and pressure is one ATM or 270 and 273 Kelvin. And these, it has an equal volume of gases at the same temperature and pressure contain an equal number of particles, no matter what substance you have. So we'll look at Avogadro's number in just a second, but let's look at our combined gas law first. Our first problem is dealing with a combined gas law. It says a helium balloon at sea level has a volume of 2.1 liters and 0 0.98 ATMs at 36 degrees Celsius. Is it if it is released and rises to an elevation that has a pressure of 0 0.9 atm and a temperature of 28 degrees celsius what would the new volume of the balloon be well this makes sense because little kids release balloons all the time so this would be a practical real world problem we know our v1 is going to be 1.2 liters and our v2 is our unknown that we're trying to find our p1 is 0 0.998 ATM and our P2 is 0 0.9 ATM. Our T1 temperature, we have to convert 36 degrees into Kelvin by adding 273 to that, getting 309 Kelvin. And our T2 is going to be 28 degrees plus our 273, which then you get 301. Kelvin. With this, we're able to solve for our V2 for this. One thing that we have to note, all of the labels have to be the same for temperature, for pressure, and for volume. You cannot have a KPA and an ATM or a milliliter and a liter or a Celsius and a Fahrenheit. It has to be the same. So make sure that we have that. Then we'll simply put it into the equation for the combined gas law. P1 times V1 is equal, divided by T1 is equal to P2 times V2 divided by T2. 2.1 2 is our first temperature or pressure, 0 0.998 over 309, 301 X times our 0 0.9 ATMs. When we solve for x, you are going to get, in three significant digits, 2.27 atm. For our answer, well, our pressure drops, so our temperature, our volume, oh, I have the wrong label. I so apologize. It's not atms. This would be liters. How confusing. I apologize for that. This would be liters. And as our pressure went down, we know that our volume would go up because of the inverse relationship they have with one another. Let's do another one. An air sample has a syringe that exerts a pressure of 0 0.19 atms at a temperature of 22 degrees Celsius. If it's placed in boiling water at 100 degrees Celsius, the pressure of the air increases to 1.23 atm. By pushing the plunger, it reduces the volume to 0 0.224 milliliters what is the original volume? So we know our P1 is going to be 0 point, or sorry, 1.02 ATM. And our T1 is 22 plus 273, because we have to convert to Kelvin to get 295 Kelvin. Our T2 is 100 degrees Celsius plus 273 to get 373 Kelvin. 
and our P2 is going to be 1.23 ATM, and our volume 2 is going to be 0 0.224 milliliters. We can still leave this in milliliters, we just have to make sure that our answer is in milliliters. Our volume 1 is what we're solving for, and so we just put in the problem, or the num numeric values where they belong. 373, 1.23 times 0 0.224. And in this case, our volume that we get is 0 0.214 milliliters. And so we can see that same relationship as our pressure changed. In number three, we're going to be using Avogadro's principle. And this one is already given us in moles. Notice that it doesn't matter what our moles are. We just have to keep them in. We have to use that conversion factor of 22.4 liters is equal to one mole. And so we just set this up the same way that we've been setting stuff up before when molar conversions, one mole is equal to 22.4 liters. And so when we solve for this, we are going to get 53.8 liters. Here's something I want to quickly step aside and address. STP, standard temperature and standard pressure. Standard temperature is zero degrees Celsius or, because we can't do anything in Celsius, 273 Kelvin. Pressure, for standard pressure, the easiest one is one ATM. However, it's not the only numeric value for pressure, so we have 101.3 kPa, 200, I'm sorry, not 200, 760 mmHg, or millimeters of mercury, or 760 tor, or one more, 14.7 PS. I. All are set equal to each other. I'm writing this in pink because later on we're going to need to make sure that we remember this. So you might want to put this somewhere on your notes or your periodic table just for good references. Let's do another one. In this problem it's giving us 1.202 moles of CO2 and it's asking what the volume would be. So again, we're just taking our one mole of CO2, converting that using 2.2, sorry, 22.4 liters. And in this case, we are going to get 22.8 liters of CO2. Still at standard temperature and pressure. That's the only way that conversion works. Otherwise, we have to use another law, which we'll talk about in a couple sections. This one is not asking for that. It's asking for grams. It says, hey, you have one liter of solution at STP. How many grams do you have? Well, in this case, we have to have that diagonal relationship. So we put 22.4 liters down here, which we know is equal to one mole of CO2. Then we can go using the molar mass conversion, one mole of CO2, canceling labels out, diagonal relationship, is equal to the molar mass of CO2, which we know to be 44 grams. We multiply across and we get 1.96 grams of CO2. Remember, multiply across the top, divide it by the bottom. In this case, it's asking what would the volume be if we're given 0 0.46 grams of krypton. So we're going the opposite way. So we start with what they gave us. Again, it's standard temperature and pressure. Otherwise, we have to use another law. In this case, we're going to find the molar mass, which is 83.8 grams of krypton, which we know is equal to 1 mole of krypton. And from there, we use Avogadro's conversion factor, one mole of Kr is equal to 22.4 liters of krypton. Multiply across the top, divide it by the bottom, and you get 0 
liters of krypton for your answer. And that's using the boil sorry, that's using the combined gas law, which is combining Boyle's law, Charles law, and Gay Lussac's law, and Avogadro's principle, which is a conversion factor at standard temperature and pressure from one mole of any substance into liters.